Today, I am joined by Mary Kreider. Mary Kreider has been with Cooper Reese now for 20 years. The 20 years that we've been open, Mary has been a big part of our healing community. She served for many years as the integrative health director here at Cooper Reese, which means she was a fundamental and still is a fundamental important person when it comes to nutrition and diet and meal planning and the use of supplementals and all that important stuff that is a part of our overall approach to treatment here at Cooper Reese. Mary, can you talk to us a little bit about the relationship between good nutrition and mental health recovery and how, it, how you've seen it play out over the years? Yeah, well, briefly, I would say that 20 years ago, there was very little known about this. So we've we've been at the cutting edge, I guess you would say, from the very beginning of looking at uh, diet and supplements as part of a recovery process. Food is medicine, which has become, you know, quite the thing in terms of research right now. <clears throat> so, uh, Lisbeth was when she and Don hired me, that was all she wanted to talk to me about, basically, was to let me know that she felt very strongly that food um, and our diet and how we resource food organic, locally, um, and help people learn to eat something other than fast and processed foods was going to play an important role in our success and recovery and that information her belief around that came from an understanding statistically but not scientifically yet that our population was more prone to metabolic syndrome which leads to type 2 diabetes heart disease cardiovascular stuff and nobody knew why nobody understood why that was true so but we, what we did know was that supporting the person with um, good nutrition and possibly supplements would would help them um, avoid this going down this path, which is at the time, the statistic was that our our um, population had a 20 year shorter lifespan than a person without an emotional health condition. And it was more than just you know what you would imagine it was physiological uh, the kinds of um, diseases that people would get as a result of their condition so fast forward to 2023 <laughs> and we have a lot more data now that tells us that um, not only is food medicine but that supplements can help uh, alleviate the inflammatory processes that we now know are a very big factor in folks developing um, these um, these side diagnoses uh, away from their emotional health condition. So type two diabetes, cardiovascular disease, these are all inflammatory processes. And lo and behold, now they know that emotional health conditions are also inflammatory in nature. So there is a, a very good connection there. Third connection is the gut micro, uh, microbiome. So the good, the good gut bacteria and the bad gut bacteria play a role in the inflammatory process and how our brains work and um, how we uh, how we do just physiologically, how we how well we uh, recover physiologically. Um, so folks come to us um, with them with their with their issues around food are many um, from disordered eating processes to having just lived on a low, uh, budget or um, just wanting only the, what was easy, meaning fast food and processed foods. And those foods are the very foods that have the inflammatory nature that I was talking about before. So, and not to mention a lack of phytonutrients and and, and basic um, vitamins and minerals that one needs to be healthy. So, 
learning how to cook has been a big part of our processes as long as I can remember. I mean, maybe not in the first four or five years, we were just, you know, kind of getting our everything together on our airplane here that we were flying. Right. Um, we didn't have, we didn't have cooking classes, but in the first four or five years, but after that we did, we always did. And they took place in different ways. And, and we always made them person centered. Our group, you know, participated in what they wanted to learn how to cook for themselves because we know that cooking is empowering. We know that it can help alleviate this tendency to, Grubhub or stop at McDonald's or just pick up stuff in a box, which doesn't have the kinds of nutrients that folks need to have really healthy lives. So that's been another prong. Supplements. Hey, before, before we, oh. I want to yeah. keep this going. I'm, I'm curious over the years, what have residents said to you? What has the feedback been from members of our community about, about this? Oh, well, varied, as you can imagine yeah, from, sure from um you know why why can't we eat hot dogs and hamburgers and french fries um every day and have that as an option to um to gosh i love the food you guys make the best food i never thought that healthy food could taste this good um so it, it's been really important to us that we have good chefs in our kitchen and that they know how to take our diet, Mediterranean-based diet, and make it delicious for everybody. So there's been a wide variety of that, but my feedback afterwards, and I keep in touch with residents, they keep in touch with me over time, uh, for a time after they leave, was like, this was, the diet's the best thing. I'm so glad I learned how to cook. I'm so happy I ate this way. I feel so much better. Um, um, and it, in the process of change and this is a chemical process changes um folks who are with us they just still crave they crave sugar they crave um, processed simple carbs and we just try to baby step our way through this with them on an individualized pro personalized basis one-on-one -on -one. at least that's the way i did it Okay. So in addition, you know, I, since I've been here, I've been here about five years and I, I always hear and I always talk about how nutrition and, and how we do food is, is a partner with the whole recovery experience for people that come here. That food is a really big deal and how we do it is a big deal. And you've been a part of it from the very beginning, but we also, you also are very involved in, in the supplement world here. Can you talk mm -hmm. about that a little bit? Um, yeah, that that kind of started the same way as with the food with, um, you know, a lack of um, understanding of we saw the data, we saw what it looks like. Right. But we didn't have the science to back our our desire to use just a few supplements in the beginning to help support a person in their recovery from multiple aspects from lack of vitamins, you know, things like B complex, um, fish oil. Um, those were fish oil at the time, 20 years ago was known to be those omega-3 fatty acids as being anti-inflammatory, not just cardiovascular, but also good for mental health. Psychiatry wasn't immediately accepting of this and it was a little challenging to talk my way into the psychiatrist office and suggest that we could use omega-3 supplements fish oil that everybody now knows is is very helpful um and there's no uh, do no harm status so that became my um focus as i worked with my team and we talked about it a lot was that what we wanted to demonstrate was there was no harm involved here and there was some evidence for safety i'm mean, not safety but efficacy we knew that they, they were safe so we never use anything that we don't know isn't safe and that there isn't evidence for efficacy is there the gold standard always no of of research because research 
is really hard to come by because there's no money in it. It's not like pharmacology, pharmacology pharmacological ingredients where you can um, get somebody to support you financially to do the research. Uh, supplements are a little bit different and they can't be patented because they're a natural substance. And because they're a natural substance, we feel like they're safe. So we just want to know that that there is a do no harm status and that there is evidence for um, use. And more and more over the years, this has grown as a big, I now have two, three different databases that are evidence-based that we can go to to find research on not everything, but a whole lot of stuff. Before we end, what, what are a couple of the most common supplements that you see out there and, and what are some of the benefits that you're seeing? And of course, every resident is involved in the decision making. Yes, the residents are involved in decision making along with the psychiatrist. I recommend, but the psychiatrist has to approve, right? right. Um, and um, we have standing orders for fish oil, B complex, um, and um, probiotics, which we know are involved in this gut microbiome process that um, is is inflammatory. Um, and then on the side of that, and the, the residents can choose those as soon on admission. We give them information about it and most all of them accept them. Um, and then I look at sleep because we don't want to add more pharmaceuticals on top of pharmaceuticals if we don't have to, right? And and the less uh, sedating kinds of meds, the better. So there are a lot of supplements that can help with sleep onset and, and, and um, waking up in the middle of the night that are not going to give somebody a sleep hangover in the morning so they can get up and get to their cruise. Um, and there's also those who that serve as anxiolytics. So instead of benzodiazepines or for people who have just recently come off of them, um, we have um, supplements that can address the, the anxiety piece. Um, and also, I think one of the things that I love are supplements that address the side effects of certain medications. Um, and the side effects of metabolic syndrome that a lot of our folks unfortunately find themselves with at some point in time. And those supplements uh, can help uh, with, with those side effects and bringing down cholesterol and um, helping with reducing um, inflammation. So inflammatory processes are for me like a number one that's my number one thought process both with diets and with um supplements to reduce to reduce inflammation for a number of reasons this has been great and i know this is really the tip of the iceberg we could go on and on about this so but we don't have time so today but thank you mary thank you You're for welcome. years my pleasure. You're doing your thing. And uh, yeah. until next time, thank you, everybody. Yeah.